is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have a new wwe elite set review on the brand new wwe elite top picks 2022 wave i think they've called this the 2023 wave but i feel like we've already had a 2022 wave right with roman goldberg and jeff hardy so i really i don't know i i feel like the year before is what they usually call it so i i don't know what's going on man they usually have them all over the place i'm just going to call it the 2022 wave and it could be the 2023 wave but i don't know we've had a lot of these waves kind of just pumped out so here we are with all those things being said man let's go ahead and dive into it as you guys can see we have the rock Rey mysterio and undertaker i feel like this wave looks a lot different than other top picks waves that we've seen you know there's no roman reigns there's no braun Strowman, there's no seth rollins there's no aj styles so to see kind of three uh, quote unquote old heads in the top picks wave is kind of cool for me because these are three guys that i grew up watching so this is awesome for me you know and it's kind of like this is kind of for the older school collectors while still having some appeal to the the younger audience. But we do have The Rock, Rey Mysterio, and The Undertaker. I'm excited for this wave. I think we have some pretty good gems in this set, so let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Starting out first, we do have The Undertaker. Now, this is a pretty much direct copy of the Elite 85, but I think they did upgrade this guy to double jointed arms, which we're going to take a look at. But here is the pretty much repeat of the Elite 85 Undertaker. You have the picture of Taker there. It is different packaging than that figure, so I guess, you know, if you want a little different look, you could do that. But there's the back of the packaging there. I don't remember what the Elite 85 looked like like on the back but it was probably this here's probably the figure that i'm the most excited for that's got to be ray mysterio i love the subtle pink and black colorway i think that looks really beautiful got a picture of ray there on the side you get a picture of ray on the other side you get ray mysterio and then on the back here he is definitely one of my favorite rays i know we get a repeat in some things but i love the pink and black man i mean that's that's just perfect mdt right there and then last but not least we do have the rock and the rock is looking good i think they could have made some different choices for this selection but overall i am happy with it you got the rock jersey which i think is fantastic you get some interchange of bill hands sunglasses nice image of the rock on the front you get the rock down here you get the rock on the side on the back now that we've seen this packaging a little more now do you guys still hate it do you guys still like it are you on the fence what are the cases for you, do you are you into it i would love to know down below i like it you know i will say that i think i think it could be better i don't really like the shape of it like unboxing them is not as easy as older boxes and packages but at the end of the day i do like it i think they'll look good mock and i think they'll look good on the shelf i haven't found any figures in this packaging just yet but with all these things being said man we are going to crack these out of the packaging if you guys would like to grab these go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there but we are going to crack all three of these guys out of the packaging take a closer look at them and find out what the hell they're all about so with all those things being said man let's crack these guys out of their packaging and see about top picks 2022 so here's undertaker Rey mysterio and the rock out of their packaging liking what i'm seeing so far out of these three i don't really have a lot of great right off the cuff you know I, I typically with these reviews i'll take them out of the packaging i'll pose them around see how they feel in the hand and all those different deals take a look at their details but i'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary with these or any that i just hate or anything like that man i'm really impressed with these so far but we won't know until we dive deep deep into it and find out what they're all about so what we're going to do in this three in one review man we're going to dive into each of their accessories like all together instead of different segments and then we'll do the same for the figures themselves we'll take a look at some comparison shots and just dive into all the details of the figures man so with all that said let's dive into all three of these guys accessories so diving into all three guys accessories man you guys will kind of see that the rock pretty much owns the set and i'm guessing it's because his figure is not that detailed right there's not like a lot of buckles and whistles and different paints and sculpts it's a basic rock figure with double jointed arms and you know it's the same head sculpt he's got double jointed arms you know but it's it's the trunks and the elbow pads outside of that undertaker and ray have a lot more attention to detail and a lot more things going on so maybe that's why they get the the axe when it comes to the accessories portion but as far as Rey Mysterio, man, we have seen this accessory right here. This cutoff Rey Mysterio shirt so many times before, it's insane. Every single Rey Mysterio that's been released pretty much in the last decade has come with this sleeveless rubber shirt. Or it's been a lot of times, man, but you got greatest mask of all time. You got the same decal shirt right there. I mean, could we get a cloth one one time just once? Outside of that, he comes with this Friday Night Smackdown intro, reaching out hands. Well, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then you miss wrestling. But he's got these. These always have a great sculpt on them. I like this glove mold. I mean, maybe they can make them a little bit smaller, but I don't really have a huge issue with it, but these are nice to have interchangeable hands. I like the grabby hands. Not, not a big deal to me. For the Undertaker, you also get some grabby hands, but they're like these choke slamming hands, and it's the same deal. You know, they painted his his hands fully black, even though you can see that they are finger tipless gloves. So the fingertips are missing, like we usually expect with Undertaker, except they're painted all black. I don't remember if he was wearing full black gloves. He probably was, but they didn't give him like a new mold or anything. And is it better? 
better to have the, the sculpted gloves painted all black with like the fingertipless mold you can see if you pay enough attention, or would it be better to give him bare hands painted all black? I think I'd prefer the sculpted gloves, even though it looks wacky if you zoom in on it. And then he also comes with a shovel accessory, which these are the exact accessories that he came with with his Elite 85 figure. You can separate it right there, and you know, you get the, I feel like this is a different color than his Elite 85. I don't feel like the shovel head looked like this. I could be wrong about that, but that's just what I'm getting, and you have the green handle, which I want to say it was like a darker gray with a brown handle, but I could be wrong. And last but not least, we have the Rocks accessories. Now, this is his clutch accessory. This is the best accessory in the entire set. You have the Rock jersey right here. You got the red and white stripes on it, the Rock Brahma Bull logo. Looking very clean. It's oversized. It fits very well on the figure. It fits as if it's, it was a jersey. You know, jerseys are pretty oversized. They're kind of baggy, and it does have Velcro on the back. Not the biggest deal. It would have been cool to see the graphic on the back, but you do get the Brahma Bull in the stripes over there. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, back in the day when I always had the shirts and stuff from Stone Cold. Would love to find a way to always get the non-Velcro shirts in the line, but I understand those cost cuts and things like that. It's not always possible, but I do love the Rock jersey. Very clean. These are the things we love about collecting. I'd much rather have this than this, and that's all day. I don't care if you leave off. You leave off the logo, fine by me. I'd rather have this than this. Outside of that, we do get a Raw Is War microphone right here that we've seen before in the Rock and Sock Connection 2-pack and probably another figure outside of that. We have golden and black sunglasses, which look good and they fit the figure well. Here's what they look like on the figure. So if you guys were wondering right there, that's how it looks. And I'm not complaining about that. I think the likeness is better with the sunglasses on. He also comes with a pair of fists, a pair of mic holding hands, which we've seen a million times. And the Rock Just Bring It slash Ricochet Kawhi Leonard Shake Hands Shake Hands. Handshake hands. Jesus. Which we've seen a million times before. I would like to see the Ultimate Edition hands come with this figure. You know, that would have been nice. I say get rid of the fists and give him the, you know, the ones where it's coming up and coming down because that's the only time we've ever gotten those hands. So that wraps up all their accessories. So getting into Undertaker Man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, we do have the nice bandana accessory, which I guess I should have included in the accessories, but I just kind of, you know, you don't really take this headband off, but it looks really good. I mean, we've seen this figure before. I'm not noticing any first off differences with the other figure besides the addition of the double jointed arms, but this figure is fantastic. It's just as good as its first go-around, but it's even better because you get the pinless double jointed arms that I really like, so I don't have any issues with that. You also get the nice big elbow pad on there. It's a very nice figure, man. We've seen this before. If you guys have not seen the Elite 85 Undertaker, it's a very nice piece. You have a great looking head sculpt. You have like the braided ponytail back here, which is really cool. I like this top. It's not. It, it does kind of prevent articulation, but you can still get a decent ab crunch out of it. I don't have any issues with that. Going down into the pants, you do get all the buckles and the same like tight patterns and the studs and all the different things in the pants so you don't really have to worry about you know any major differences if you don't care about the double jointed arms you already have the elite 85 undertaker you may want to miss out on it but i know a lot of people did miss that figure so you may want to get this figure it does have pinless legs as well it's very nice i remember enjoying this figure a lot when we got it back in elite series 85 and the addition of the double jointed arms is just a game changer i think this is the only undertaker right besides the ultimate edition that has double jointed arms so this is beautiful. I like the size. I like everything going on with it. I love this figure. I think it's great. And here is the uh, the Elite 85 over here. And just to uh, keep the differences between the two, I mean, I know I, I do have, you know, I do have the double jointed arms over here, but this is the original Elite 85 and this is the re-release. I'm not seeing any differences outside of the double jointed arms like we covered before. So I think it's sick. I, I don't mind this figure being re-released. I mean, it would have been cool, but you guys know the top picks wave is typically to get re-releases out in a different color just so people that missed out on the first wave or they missed out on the first go around they have an opportunity to get these guys and they know that these guys are the hard hitters so they're going to be flying off shelves and moving units and that's the reason why we have the top picks line in the first place so diving into the rock man we've seen this head sculpt multiple times before not my favorite head sculpt man i've said it multiple occasions they should have used one of the ultimate edition rock head sculpts for this figure because it would have helped this figure move a lot i think i know it has the impl i know it has the jersey which is a very nice touch but implementing one of those ultimate edition rock head sculpts would have done wonders for this figure because it would have been an extra incentive to those that missed out on the Ultimate Edition rock and it would have gave you a cool head sculpt. The People's Eyebrow head sculpt, the Yelling head sculpt. One of those head sculpts would have been fantastic for this figure but going down it has the old school rock torso. I love the addition of those like more muscular shoulders to this rock figure. You got the bicep vein going on. It's really nice. I love these trunks. This is some of my favorite trunks that the rock ever wore. I know it's very similar to his other looks but the blue was always one of my favorites so blue and silver 
right there on the butt you do get the Brahma Bull in the blue and this is probably my favorite Rock Elite that we've gotten man with the addition of the jersey not my favorite head sculpt but at the end of the day it, it's a perfect rock figure man head to toe it implements the rock perfectly he does have the elbow pads for the people's elbow and when you slide those down of course you are going to get your double jointed arms which make the world go round so this is outside of the ultimate edition I mean you could argue this is better than the ultimate edition of course you don't get all those extra accessories but you get a cloth accessory and you get a easily removable head to swap out any rock head sculpt you want you get a better attire than the ultimate edition even though the red gear is one of my favorite gears as well you get the blue gear you get the better articulated torso he has a tight waist pretty face of course as always nice articulated legs you got the uh regular size knee pads and you have the signature rock boots so uh this figure is immaculate it's a great rock it's a perfect rock if you wanted to hunt down a rock and you don't want to pay 200 dollars for the ultimate edition right here is your guy which is probably why they didn't add an ultimate edition head sculpt because if they had this figure would be much better than the ultimate edition and they knew that so they said nah i don't give him that good head sculpt let's give him something else now for your rock figure comparisons for all of his elites you have the new top picks here you have the elite 47 was it elite 47.5 rock you have the i think this is the legends rock you have the two pack with the rocket sock connection and then you have the defining moments so you have tons of rocks right here all different trunks all different they vary in some different way i loved this one but the addition of the double jointed arms makes this one just a little bit better and i think i do prefer the blue and silver over the red and silver even though i love both so and then of course you do have the ultimate edition but it's up on my shelf it has like street gear over it because i don't like the way that that torso looks because we got the rock and sock connection elite that has the red trunks i didn't feel that i needed to have the ultimate edition without street gear because i don't like the way the torso looks and i like this figure just a little bit better i think without clothes on so there you go but this is uh it's a great look into the different formulas and stuff they've used for rock over the years but i think we have found the best rock ever man all right guys so diving into Rey mysterio i mean we've seen this head sculpt countless times i mean elite 72 top picks before this one we've seen this reuse and reuse and reuse and i will say i loved the new what was it elite 89 Rey mysterio or elite 88 Rey mysterio i did like the eye patch head sculpt but i would have liked to seen that head without the eye patch just to give you a little bit of a different look i do like the new basic like camo green or whatever head sculpt that's coming up in that one basic wave hopefully they'll get that shrunk down and we'll use that on our Rey Mysterios for a little bit instead of going back to this one but it's not a bad head sculpt you do get some nice likeness I do like the mohawk I like the sculpt how it has like the strap undone I like it it's a good head sculpt I, I I like it I don't have any issues with it it's just being reused and reused it's very old and it'd be nice to see something new we do have the singlet torso right here which is nice same torso as that elite 89 figure it is in black on the back I did not know that they had the question mark with the crown love the way that looks I love the way the white and red really contrast together over the black all his tattoos Rey Mysterio is one of the most figuretic or toyetic guys you could find out there that's why they've made so many of them he's beloved you do have the bicep bands with the question mark and the m's and the flails right here they are removable we do have double jointed arms on this guy i think this is our first double jointed arm Rey Mysterio if i'm not mistaken because his elite 89 figure actually was single jointed so having the double jointed arms here makes Rey Mysterio's figures even more incredible because these figures were insane before the addition of double jointed arms now i can say with confidence this is the best Rey Mysterio Elite ever made and I know you can get in here with details and different stuff while it's not the best head sculpt but double jointed arms his figure feels immaculate in the hand and you get this sick ass pink and black gear I mean that's that writes it off right there when I fix this guy up on action figure surgery it's gonna be game changing it's gonna be life changing at that wait wait till till you see what we got going on it's gonna be absolutely incredible but the pink legs that like really really light pink with the darker magenta color and Ray 619 you got the stripes i mean this is a beautiful looking figure and when i fix it up i'm gonna lose my damn mind on surgery i just can't wait to do it but you got the black boots his figures are just insane man Rey mysterio has some of the best figures ever since they changed his formula in elite series what 69 or 72 this is just great man you get the ab crunch i mean he can do the splitsies he feels fantastic in the hand i can already tell you right now this figure will be on mdt's top 10 figures of the year absolutely at the end of the year this is going to be up there he is incredible fantastic piece but for your figure comparison we literally got all four of these Mysterios very close together. You guys know they love to pump Rey Mysterio out, so here is his figure comparisons. Here's his last Elite in the main Elite line. Here's the Elite 72. Here is the top picks from last year or this past year. And I would really, like, you guys can kind of see a theme. Black is like a main color in his attires. I would like to see more colorful, colorful attires like this. This even had black gloves on it. I actually put some AJ Styles gloves in there. I'll probably switch it back, to be honest with you. This one has a loose torso as well. I need to get another copy of this figure. But this figure is my favorite. 
I, I love it. I think that the addition of the double joint arms is a game changer and just all the different things he has going on. This figure is immaculate. And uh, I think this top, I, ooh, I don't know, man. I feel like every, I may have to enter into a thing where if I find this figure at retail, it's an automatic purchase. I may be the reason why this guy doesn't shelf form like this one did, but I, I love this figure. It's fantastic. Which one do you think is the best? But that is pretty much going to wrap up our 2022 top picks elites or 2023, whatever, 2027. I don't give a shit. Just, just whatever the year it is, man. These figures are fantastic. I love all three. I don't think any of these guys should shelf form. I think all of them should fly off shelves except for that one Walmart in my area where there's like 62 of this Elite 85 Undertaker. I think these guys are flying off shelves. Uh, double jointed arms on the Taker. You get the extra muscle definition on the Rock. Great attire. I, I genuinely believe this may be the best Rock Elite ever made and it probably is. I, I probably need to spend a little bit more time on it. I think that I, I, I think I can honestly say that though. As far as like flashback rocks go, this is the cream of the crop. I think this Rey Mysterio is also the best Rey Mysterio Elite, or at least it's my favorite. I love the, the tire. I love the addition of the double jointed arms. Feels really, really good in the hand. It's just the best. It, it is fantastic. It poses around really well. It looks fantastic. I would say that all three of these are a must cop. I think if you find them at retail, you should cop them. I think that if you need to replace some guys, sell your Elite 85 taker, turn him into a fixed up slash custom. Same thing for your Rock Elites. I think this is the best Rock Elite you can get right now, especially Flashback Edition. And yeah, man, I mean, I, I don't have any issues with any of these guys. I love them a lot. Would it have been cool to see a new Undertaker? Absolutely. But what we're getting out of this top picks wave is nice. I like it a lot, and I wouldn't be shocked if we find these guys in the top 10 at the end of the year. I know we have a long way to go, and there's a lot more figures to be released, but this Rey Mysterio is going to be hard to beat. But if you guys want these figures, go grab them at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Use that priority shipping. Don't use free ship. I'm telling you right now, you'll regret it. So use code MD Toys, save yourselves 10%, use priority shipping, get in on all the good stuff going on, going on over there, and I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you guys next time, thank you so much, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, at my damn toys, as you guys already know, and I, I guess don't cross the line. You cross the line.